So the package um, the paper craft printing, uh, we're going to print on the, uh, you know, the the side of the, uh, you know, the half millimeter, uh, the 0 0.5 or 0 0.6 millimeters of the code uh, the ball. Uh, package in the table. So you basically, you know, put it on and kind of select the button to switch open on the vacuum here. The vacuum table is optional for user 60, 40, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, and then press remote button so the table automatically scans for the obstructions and we're going to just uh, send out it now well, let's see how it goes So now on the printing side, it's printing a register mark, which is the L shape uh, on the four corners. So you can do a print and cut with a uh, numatic you know, cutting plotter. Alright, let's see, it's almost ready for uh, the cutting. The printing is almost finished. and the uh, table automatically comes forward so you can just release uh, the vacuum to pick up so let's see you know how the quality looks like so there's no over spray so it's really precise for the printing right and if you look at the shape of the uh, register mark it's nice and clear on the four corners so you can do the uh, cutting after that okay. guys once uh, the data was printed uh, on the, the, the cardboard stock, the card stock, then uh, you just put the, uh, the, the printed card stock onto the, uh, the cutting sheet, which is an optional consumable item from the market. Um, the film, the sheet, uh, has the uh, you know, sticky parts for about A3. If the you know, sheet is a little bit bigger than A3, then it can be bleed outside of the, you know, the sticking part. But just make sure that the, you know, it doesn't offset while it's cutting, All right? So it's good for the you know, 10 to 15 times for the cutting, but you know, for now, you know, just run like this, right? Once you set it up, you just adjust the position of the, uh, the pinch roller and the plastic table. So plastic table, the plastic table should have the two pieces in the front side, two pieces in the back side, and it should hold the uh, you know, entire the paper, the paper box. Also, the uh, position of the pinch roller should be underneath of the uh, um, uh, white bar. And the middle one, because I printed with UV, the middle one can be up position. So adjust that from the uh, back side. So you can adjust you know, the uh, on and off of the pinch roller on the, on the uh, center. Right, the both sides should be in the same, um, same uh, pressure. And you clamp it down. Right? After you clamp it down, uh, you just uh, you know, detect uh, the roll. It's a... Uh, hold on. Do it again. The roll and make sure pinch roll is three, one, two, three, right? And then it will detect the you know, entire media size between the you know the uh, pinch roll position and pinch, pinch roll position. Oh. 
Right, after that, it should automatically go to the mark detect. If not, you press the end button, right? So I just run the light pointer on the, you know, the where the, you know, the corner of the, you know, um, the clock mark, and press enter. So it will get the, uh, the position. At this moment, you know, on the back side of the, uh, on the blade side, you can just make sure the tip of the blade is matching to the corner of a uh, clock mark. Now, once you're done, we basically, you know, do a uh, you know, creasing first and then die cut next. Okay, the put a creasing tool into a position and tighten it down. Press remote button and send the job. Let me just do that again, just in case. Let me do it again. Sorry. Let me do again. I just cancel the job because I just want to make sure that the, uh, you know, that it's sorted out by a layer, the one for press and one for cut. So, you know, I already double check it. Right, start by, you know, sending, uh, it start by, you know, detecting uh, the uh, detecting uh, the mark first. Or I replace with a creasing. So you know, I just uh, already replaced it. Or I then press the remote button. It's something more creasing first. Creasing is five centimeters because it needs more pressure and uh, in a sensitive position and uh, you know I'm making enough time for creasing. So creasing is five centimeters per second and the 500, 550 grams of the pressure. Alright, once the creasing is done, replace with cut, so it pauses automatically because the cutting data already included two layers for you know, creasing and cut. Alright, and you just you know, preset the uh, you know, titanium blade for the you know, card stock, you know, which is an optional item from the plotter. Right, once you set that, press the remote button so it will start cutting. So the cutting mode for uh, this uh, you know, die cut is uh, 20 centimeters and 300 grams, so it's uh, you know, much faster than the prism. Right, so uh, you know, it's uh, really quick and nice, nice and fast. Right, once you've done that, you can just uh, you know, bring it up and make sure that the end is cut, alright? It looks like it's cut, you know, the completely, which is good. And we can finally peel off the uh, the back the back paper. But, yeah, pretty good. All right, thanks for watching.